happy Monday, start of a new vlog. To this week, I was about to say today, to, this week is going to be a shorter one. Um, it's just gonna be four days, and we are just getting ready for the wedding. Cannot believe it is here already. So I'm gonna take you through like all the last like appointments for the wedding and um i'm gonna give you all the tea all the details of like all the gifts we're giving the decor so um this vlog if you are tuning in and you are a wedding guest and you are tuning in before the wedding my request is that you leave the vlog and come back on monday um because i don't want you to get spoiled stuff so basically i have a lot of people who are not coming to the wedding or who can't come um who are counting on like behind the scenes and they want to see everything um but i can't have like gifts and stuff spoiled for you if you are you know a wedding crew member and then um, if you are going to the wedding, feel free to come back here um, in just a couple days and watch this one. So this one's gonna be like all the details. I start vlogging the wedding weekend on Friday. This is just through Thursday. Just getting all the loose ends tightened up. My anxiety is just getting the best of me though. Um, like I'm worried about getting sick. I'm worried about something going wrong. Um, I'm just like fucking up the weekend. And I know that's like not realistic, but that's where I'm at right now. Probably got six hours of sleep last night. I had gotten like eight. And then I just got in my little anxiety brain again. So I feel like super tired, a little dizzy, and I'm just trying to keep it together for the weekend. I'm hoping I'm going to be like so excited for tomorrow that I'll be able to sleep. It's just like these final days are so boring. Like there's nothing to do and I'm just anxious and I just want to get there and I'm just so excited. Got my makeup on. We are going to start filming stuff and just kind of relax today. I really hope I feel better. Like basically the first like half an hour, like when I'm just waking up and I'm like really sleepy, I'm like groggy and I'm just like trying to like use my vestibular system to like stay up. So I think it's just a little sensitive today. Um, and it usually like the grogginess goes away in like the first hour. So I'm just gonna, try to get my system moving in like a nice way um, and just start filming some stuff, doing some stuff um, and I'm sure I'll feel better. I just feel like a little wonky right now, especially just like the past few days have just been like so intense that I think I just need a second. So I guess I can officially say that our wedding is Sunday, October 15th um, and I'm so excited. It's just gonna be so good. Um, and we're getting married in Portland. <clears throat> so, as you know, we hired a designer. She is working her magic and setting everything up. We also have a DJ who's like emceeing the event um, and making sure it goes off without a hitch. And then we have a videographer, a photographer, obviously a caterer, a uh, dessert baker, and a glam artist, um, florist, we're all coming together to make it amazing and our friends and family are just going above and beyond and doing the most um and i'm just so grateful like i just did not expect this outpour of support from people and um i don't know just crazy town uh, we finalized our vows and like our morning of letters um so i'll show you everything we've got here um, and we're just gonna start doing stuff. Today is my lazy day, so I have to start writing thank you cards to everyone. Um, and then tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday are fucking insane. Um, we have, let me just like break it down for you so you know what we're doing. So today we're doing nothing. 
Um, I looked up a burrito recipe in Anthony's cookbook and me and Jared are gonna make that. Um, but other than that, just writing thank you cards to our vendors and our wedding crew. Then tomorrow, I have my last alterations, like fitting appointment, um, and it's like an hour and a half, so it's a little bit longer than our last sessions, and we're trying on every dress again. And then she's basically gonna like sew the last pieces um, when they're like on me. And then that's it. We pick up the same day, and then I'm gonna go over to the mall and meet Jared. We're gonna go to either JCPenney or Macy's, maybe both. We need to get him some last minute items. So we're gonna do that little run. And then Wednesday, I have a back-to-back -back nail appointment with my mom. So we're gonna have a little day at Tatiana's. I'm gonna get a mani and pedi just to refresh everything. This is my manicure for my wedding nails. We did like a trial run. Um, and I think the only thing I'm not like 100% crazy about is how it looks like right down the middle on a lot of them and i think i want to do like some more like where it's a very obvious cross um so we'll see what she thinks but that's kind of my only critique they're amazing um so we'll be doing these again um and then we have a call with our dj at night and that's like the day where i need to start like packing everything up doing the final inventory on like our bins and our storage stuff um I need to finalize the binders for my best friend and my mom. Um, so we don't have like a day of coordinator. Um, typically you would make a binder for them, but um, I'm not worried personally. Um, and I made these binders, which I can show you guys once I finish them tomorrow, um, listing every single thing we need. All of the contracts, all of the paid invoice records, um, all of the timelines, all of the contact numbers for the vendors, all of that stuff. So we have to like print final documents out, finalize those, and then on Thursday morning we're going to go to my parents' house, we're going to pick up one of their cars, and we're going to take their car to Portland. It's more like um, an SUV type car, so it has a lot more space and um, we can fit a lot more. So we're gonna pick up their car, then we're all gonna head over to Weddings with Joy, which is our bridal like clothing store where I got my dress and Jared got his suit, well, tux, and then my dad got a suit. So my dad and Jared have to try on their stuff and then we're also picking up like suspenders and a bow tie for our nephew, he is our ring bearer. So we're picking everything up, so it's like their same day appointment, they try on and then they take it home. And then the next day we leave for Portland. I cannot believe it. I'm just feeling so excited. So then we come home and we pack everything on Thursday. And my friend Kayla has graciously offered to load up her truck as well, her and her husband's truck. So she's gonna meet us here and we're gonna like pass some things off to her. And then, ah, so exciting. And then I also need to like shave my full body. I need to like get everything going on. Um, for that and get like freshly shaven legs and all of that um, and then on Friday we go um, bright and early 8 a.m. we're gonna pack up the car and leave to Portland um, and then probably like take our time we're gonna go to Starbucks we're leaving like a little earlier get everything ready and then we arrive at the hotel and we have a basket of welcome bags that we need to give them because we do have some guests arriving friday night so um they're gonna get all of the bags in people's rooms for us and it's just going to be an extra like little special touch for them and then we don't have anything that day so we're gonna run an errand at the grocery store we're gonna get stuff for like mimosas for getting ready in the morning on sunday we're gonna do um I can tell you now, so I just feel like my parents will not be watching this, but like if my parents are watching this, click off too. Um, I haven't told them about this, I'm very, very excited. We've told some friends, we're trying to keep like the ceremony a secret. So we're doing what's called the tasting of the elements to get the liquids. So we're gonna have to go to the store, and get all of that, so that was a little summary. And then um, we're probably just gonna get dinner with my parents and just hang out, keep it really low key. And then we're maybe getting drinks with friends. Like I'm opening that up. I'm open to the possibility. I don't drink obviously, but I'll get a mocktail or whatever. Um, and we have a bar in our hotel. It's called Hey Love. It's one of my favorite like brunch spots, bars in the city. Uh, we're staying at the Jupiter Next, which is an incredible hotel. Um, and the Jupiter Original is their like motel, like their renovated motel. Uh, very like quirky, very Portland. 
and they're hosting our rehearsal dinner. They have like event spaces. So um, Jupiter's gonna be like our hub. We're getting married at Union Pine. Um, and I just think it's gonna be excellent. Um, and then on Saturday, we need to a really kick into high gear. Uh, we're gonna go have brunch, potentially. Hopefully we can get a reservation at Hey Love because they don't offer like formal reservations. Um, so we're just gonna show up like right when they open and like beg them for 11 people. Um, but we're going to do some sort of a brunch uh, with family. And then we're going to um, do our rehearsal in the venue, so like the actual rehearsing um, at noon. And then um, I think our deliveries for like all of our tables and chairs and everything, plates and all of that are getting delivered um, on Saturday morning. So our designer will be there. She's also the co-manager of the venue and she's going to meet them, have all them like load in and then um, do our rehearsal. And then we're going to pick up some florals from Koi & Co. They are an incredible florist company and they graciously offered to like actually take us on a, as a client um, for our rehearsal dinner. I know they usually do weddings and stuff like that, um, more full blown events, but we already went with Twin Vines Floral for our wedding. Um, and she's a little out of the way from what I understand. Like she's not like in Portland, in Portland. Um, and so I just didn't want to like ask her to come back out. I don't know what that fee would be. Um, and it just didn't occur to me. Coin Co is literally across the street from the hotel, like literally across the street. So we're just going to have to like jaywalk and we're there. Um, so I think me, Jared's mom, Angela, Jared and Jenny, our officiant are going to go over there and pick up our floral rental like the vases and everything. And then they like made the arrangement. So it should be really beautiful. And then Rehearsal dinner prep starts. We're DIYing our rehearsal dinner. So we need like the full three hours to set up um, and get ready. We're gonna, we have these really beautiful outfits. We're gonna get changed, um, do my hair, my makeup and everything. Um, and I think it should just be so good. I am just so excited for everything. And then Sunday's the wedding day. We have to be up bright and early at like 6.15, 6.30. And we're going to try to put like all the stuff we need to take in Angela's car early. Um, so that all we have to, well, not in her car early, but in her room. And then all we have to do is funnel the stuff from the room to the car, get all packed up and then head to the venue. We have the loft space, which is above the venue upstairs. It's like 3,500 square feet. And we've invited like 20 gals total to come and get ready. Uh, we have about like six or seven gals getting professional services from our artists. Um, and then the rest will just, those are like a huge mirror and they can just bring their own makeup and stuff and get ready. Should be so fun. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing. And then the wedding will start uh, seating at 2.30. So we have the whole morning from seven until two. Um, however, Jared and I only have until about one. Um, we're gonna start like our first look and everything then. Um, and our videographer and photographer are gonna be busy at work, um, meeting up with Jared at the hotel, meeting up with me at the loft. And then we'll do like couples portraits and everything. And then we get hidden away in the loft at 2.30. And then at three o'clock, we get to come down and do the processional, uh, which is what obviously we're rehearsing on Saturday. And I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> like, yes, I love talking about myself, but I hate being the center of attention, like with eyes on me. Um, and I hate like speaking in front of people. So the vows are going to be a little difficult, um, but I know it's going to be great. And luckily I'm like very comfortable with Jared and like his family and like friends and like we know everyone there. It's not like we're like a newish couple who's getting married. So I know I just have to remember, like we invited all these people for a reason. We did a micro wedding, so it's super small. Um, I had so many more people who I could have invited. Um, but unfortunately, like weddings are very expensive and we just wanted to do very intimate. So we only have like 60 people. Um, I think our final count for dinner is 61 and the seated guests are like 56 or 58 at the, um, ceremony. So very, very small. And I know I just need to like let go and let God, um, for lack of a better phrase. So we're going to just have such a fun weekend and a fun week prepping for this stuff. Um, so I'll kind of show you guys like little details now that I've kind of mapped out like the general timeline. I think that will kind of help understand 
and then I'll show you like elements for each thing. Okay, so let's get started by talking about gifts. Um, I am so excited for like all of these gifts and they're so good. So again, if you're family or you're helping us with the wedding, Olivia, Jenny, um, the Hudson's family, uh, my parents, Angela, I don't think like half these people watch the vlogs, but if you do, click off. Same with Lauren. I already gave her a warning. Um, but ha ha to her. This is her gift. She guessed this was the gift and she can't see it. So I'll tell you what it is, but she still won't be able to see it until the day of. But I came across the cutest idea on Etsy. Um, and it's like common. It's not like inventive at all, but um, I thought it'd be very beautiful. And she always talks about how like she doesn't really like decorating. She's not like the best at like putting art in her house or anything. Um, so I got her a eight by 10 framed print um, of us together. It's an illustration um, and it has like a sweet little message to her. She always likes to say she's my honorary maid of honor. Um, and so it has like a little note to her um, about our friendship and it looks like it's me in my dress and her in her dress. Um, for the wedding so she can keep that it's just very sentimental not expensive but it's just like a cute little gift so that is for her because she's like my right hand woman through this whole experience um and then i don't have to show you some of these things but the hudson's meaning jared's brother and our sister-in-law and the kids who are in the ceremony and the salazar bro family olivia andy and their kids are getting airbnb gift cards so thank you from us um they do travel a lot and i think airbnb would be helpful i know like these people don't expect anything either so i was like i don't know like what a normal amount is like i definitely want to say thank you but i don't want to like overwhelm them so i'm hoping they like it and then for the kids because they are in our ceremony we've got mckinley the most adorable little handkerchief it's a custom handkerchief and it is absolutely stunning and it says, McKinley, today you are young, but the years will pass by and you'll soon be the bride in the blink of an eye. So here is something for the day you will say, I need something old for my wedding day. With all our love, Tia, Catherine, and Uncle Jared. And then it has our wedding date. It's absolutely stunning. It has like the doily look um, and it's blue. So I think it's just like adorable. Um, I didn't want to get anything that like gendered their potential partner in the future. So unfortunately I didn't get one for Easton um, because it listens to gender norms and stereotypes. And it says, this is to like wipe the tears of your bride on your wedding day. And I said, mm -mm, not interested. Um, and then we got for Easton. Easton ring bear, it's a baseball with our wedding day on it. He plays baseball, he loves the Mariners. We have, you know, uh, memories of seeing him at Mariners games. And so I thought that would be just the sweetest idea. And then for Angela, my mother-in-law, we got her a tea subscription. She's a huge fan of tea, loves to drink it. Um, she kind of mentions that a lot. So we were like, well, that's one thing we know she loves. Um, so we got her a beautiful, teapot it's like blue speckled absolutely gorgeous and then we got her the tea subscription for three months it delivers new tea to her doorstep every month and then we also got her a little mug to drink her tea out of that says the perfect blend Catherine and Jared and it has our wedding date so just something cute um, your parent gifts don't have to be crazy expensive they just should be thoughtful um, and you give them at the rehearsal dinner customarily so that's what we will be doing. For my parents, I can't be showing you the actual thing. I will show you a picture of it because it is fucking heavy. So we got them a stepping stone for their garden and I am absolutely obsessed with it. So it's so funny, we bought them StoryWorth, which is like where you go on and you like write stories about yourself, you know, and like we send them prompts. And so they've been doing that this past year and I was over at their house last night and we were reading them and my mom mentioned the lilacs in our backyard. And it's so funny because like that's one of their favorite traits about their house where I grew up. 
I've only lived one place my whole life. Basically, they redid their landscaping this year and the lilacs have been like just a beloved like area in our backyard for both of us. They hold really fond memories for me in my childhood. So I custom like commissioned this art on Etsy. The gal is incredible. So it's a high quality, like it's like spray sealed. It's a stepping stone with art and she paints them. And we said, thank you for paving a path of love. And then it has our wedding date, Catherine and Jared. And it has these beautiful lilacs. So I just know they're going to be obsessed with it. And it will be a beautiful little staple for their new backyard. Oh my God. Oh my God, I could fucking cry. Oh my God, I just won tickets to see Jinx and Ben. Okay, BRB. Okay, so it looks like I, I didn't win the main one, but I won tickets to see them. So Jared doesn't even know this, and obviously he's not watching this vlog, but one of my gifts that you'll see in his basket is tickets to Macklemore, and it's the day after Jinx and Dela. So we are going to both in Seattle. We're going to have a whole weekend of it. Um, oh my God, that's insane. So he's going to have to take off like one more day of work. Holy shit, you guys. So I saw an email come in from Toonspeak, which is like the person who made the giveaway. Um, and I just like didn't see, like I just saw tune speak. I didn't see winner response required. And then I got a text that is literally insane. Like we were literally talking about that. And I was like, I feel like it's good chances. Like it's only like maybe two to 300 people who liked the post that was like sponsored. And like of that, probably not all of them actually entered. Hardly even focus. Wow, that was a lot of energy. Okay, let's get back into the freaking gifts. I can't believe I almost cried because they make it deceptive wording. So like it looks like you won first prize, like with the VIP and everything, but it's actually just tickets and only like one person wins the VIP. So they're probably giving away multiple rounds of like regular tickets, but still that's incredible. Like I always say I never win anything. And this past year I've been winning like so much shit. I couldn't afford to go. Moving on. <laughs> so for Jenny's gift, she is going to get, this is my favorite thing that I've made for everyone. This is a handkerchief and I knew what I wanted it to say. It says, you have a way with words and it has our wedding date and it's a doily. So very similar to McKenley's, but it's in gold. And I just know she will tear up at this and then she can use her handkerchief to dry her eyes. I just love her. I think she's gonna love it. And she's a copywriter. So I really wanted her to have that. And also the fact she's officiating and she does have a way with words and we love her. I think it'll be a nice little keepsake. And then I got her a cook shop gift certificate. It is a cooking class place in Portland. So I just printed something out for her so she could have it. And then the email with the gift card will be emailed to her that night. Then she also got uh, some golden chai. This is a spiced loose leaf tea. We got it at the farmer's market and it just looks so good. And then I got her these beautiful earrings that I think she will just love. They're like silver. I don't even know if this is silver with like little blue and green baubles at the bottom, um, but they're like stamped. Uh, it's by Dancing Circles Jewelry, also from our farmer's market. The guy was so nice and wholesome. Um, and then I also picked up our friend Chelsea Rainchild Apothecary's coffee eye oil. Just a little rollerball for her. So for all those late nights writing, you know. And then I don't know if she wants me to tell people this, but just say she's dipped her toe into fiction writing. And I really wanted to get her some like writer stuff. So this is called Craft in the Real World by Matthew Sayelis rethinking fiction writing and workshopping and it's an asian man i believe and he talks about how like fiction brainstorming and writing has been written from like a white man's perspective and she and i also really bond over like our anti-racism efforts and stuff and um really strengthen like our friendship through our beliefs um during this most recent like uprising of blm so i thought this would be really cute she would love this and it's really important stuff and then I got her the Writer's Toolbox, which is creative games and exercises for inspiring the right side of your brain. 
And so it has all these little fun things she can do. And then she gets this basket with it. So this is all of her gifts. I hope she loves it. Uh, there were so many great gifts, ideas. I contacted her mom early on, Jackie, we love her. And she gave me all sorts of ideas, um, but a cooking class was one of her ideas. So I really hope that Jenny loves it. Jared's box, okay? He gets a bigger basket, but the same basket as Jenny. And I got him, actually this I'm saving in his birthday lineup. Um, so I got him like a little designed golf ball. So I'll keep that aside. I'm going to give this to him as like one of his days for his countdown activity that I mentioned in the last vlog. I got him Marriage Be Hard, 12 Conversations to Keep You Laughing, Loving, and Learning with Your Partner. And it's by Kevin Fredericks, who is Kev on stage. If you don't know, he's like Jared's favorite online comedian. I actually got tickets to go see him at Tacoma Comedy Club, and then he had to withdraw. Uh, we had like a VIP, and I got like a... Um, cameo video from him and he was so excited but unfortunately it didn't work out but I saw that they had a marriage book out and I thought that would be very thoughtful. Maybe we'll see him someday in the future. Then I also got uh, a MLB authenticated game used bat from the Seattle Mariners that was carved into a bottle cap opener. I think this is fucking iconic. Like I really slayed with this gift. Um, so it's this man who got authorization from the MLB and he sells all of his stuff on um, Uncommon Goods. Uncommon Goods is really the star of this entire show. Um, if you want like a great thoughtful gift, um, this is just so iconic, so I'm very, very excited. Um, and then I got him a deluxe hot sauce making kit so we can make our own hot sauce together. He loves hot sauce. And then like I mentioned, I got him two tickets to Macklemore in Seattle. So now we have tickets to Jinx and Dela and Macklemore. So it'll be very, very exciting. It's back to back and um, we're gonna just have a blast. So putting all of this together again, my last gift is for my friend Mandy. She's also doing a performance as I mentioned and I don't have a physical gift to show you but I'm just gonna write her a card. I did some snooping and her sweetie Liam told me that she has always been talking about wanting a new pair of Birkenstocks. So I'm going to give her a girl shopping day with me. We're gonna go and get her a new pair of Burks, and then we're also going to go to the farmer's market. And there's a new place, I think it's called Mother's Roots or something like that, and it is so good. I researched, yes I did. Um, I tried it out and it is delicious, and she's been talking about wanting to go there. So we're gonna have a little girl's day, and I hope she likes it. Um, again, like you don't have to do anything that's like the plot, like the normal stuff that you gotta do. You can think of like fun things that are unique, that your people will love. I think that's the best way to go. That is all the gifts I got. I hope you approve of them and like them. I just think they're going to love them. I really hope. I hope everyone loves them and sees like the attention that we put into them and the detail. So fingers crossed. Um, I also have a ton of thank you cards here that I'm going to be working on. We got this one for Jenny because I just thought it was so pretty. And then we got um, some vendor cards that we got in our um, bridal, the ring boxes. So we're going to use those. And then for everyone else, we're going to use these beautiful, thank you so much, like P&W themed forest cards. Um, so we will start doing those very soon. Okay, so for the welcome bag, I will show you what we gave our in-laws, my sister-in-law and his brother. It has a tag that says welcome and it has hand lettering from our amazing friend Jess. She hand lettered everyone's names. This one says the Hudson's and it will go in their room. So it's this gorgeous reusable tote. We got them on Etsy. Again, I will link everything that I'm mentioning here as best I can. So this will be like the wedding detail recap vlog. So if you need anything for your wedding in the future, all the links will be down below. Um, but this is what we went with. It's a very high quality reusable tote. And then inside we did a his and hers snack, smart food popcorn, which is mine, and then a Reese's peanut butter cup set, which is his. We also gave them a travel size lint roller in case they need it to be all prepared for our events. Went to Made in Oregon and picked up lots of local goodies. So for them, they got a Harry and David's Moose Munch, such a good little popcorn. They also got the Easy Orchards from Salem, Oregon, um, Mary and Berry Preserves. 
And then of course, a Portland ketchup, because you can't go wrong with that. Obviously, a lot of people are flying, so for the couple that are just driving, we got them things like that are larger they could take home. Um, but for the people who are flying, they got like little three ounce things. Then for people who are flying, we also got them a little magnet. It has like Bigfoot on it and he's holding roses. City of Roses, Portland. Um, and I think it's like Love Starts Here or something like that. So it's like a little magnet they can put on their fridge, but they don't have one since they are local. We gave them some liquid IVs so they're nice and hydrated. We also gave them some Shout Wipe and Go wipes in case they get a stain. And then they also have wet ones for any sticky fingers or little spills they might have. And then to complete the welcome bags, we are putting in bottles of water and that is it. I hope they enjoy it and I just can't wait for everyone to see there. So for the Made in Oregon stuff, everything is customized to what we thought the people would like. I hope they like that extra touch. So these are the welcome bags. I'm gonna put this one away. We have a whole basket of them that we need to deliver to the front desk on Friday morning. So for the rest of the stuff for the wedding day, that's going in like our wedding day basket. Let me show you. We've got really important officiant documents. All of our marriage licensing is in there. We also have the documentation for our floral preservation. So we decided to use pressed florals and preserve my bouquet and his boutonniere. It is pricey, I'm not gonna lie to you, and I went back and forth on whether I wanted to do it or not, but I think I would more so regret it if I didn't, and then didn't have the option to go back in time and do it. So basically what happens is you ship off your bouquet like the morning after and it's overnighted and they dry the petals and everything and then they create a beautiful masterpiece in a framed situation um, and it's just beautiful. So they actually give you like an interactive app that you can download and they like send you pictures when it first arrives and like show you throughout the process. It is like a multiple week process. I wanna say it's like 17 to 19 weeks before you get it back. Um, but I just knew I wanted to do it so that we could have some beautiful artwork. So this is the little sheet that they need with like your order number, what is inside the bag or the box and all of that. So had to make sure we printed that out. We also have our vow books and our morning of books. I've already shared those. We have our rings in this Valerie Madison bag um, and these little ring boxes. Absolutely stunning. Some plates and napkins like I showed you in last week's vlog for the getting ready in the morning for the girly pops. I also wanted some tissue packs that were just white that weren't ugly. Uh, you know like Kleenex always has those ugly prints. So I got these. They're just white, white packaging, recycled materials. Uh, I think it was a good investment. So I've got many of those if anyone wants that. Then we got shot glasses for our tasting that I was mentioning earlier. So let me just show you one. It says Catherine and Jared and it has our wedding date on it. And it's just like a tall, skinny shot glass. So we have eight of those, obviously. If we're tasting four elements, we each need four. Then I have this like decorative ring box. It's like, um, has I do in golden. So like if they wanna use this instead of the um, like basic boxes for like our detail shots, they can do that. And then we have Jared's um, great grandfather's pocket watch and it's set to three o'clock, which is the time we're getting married. Um, so it's gonna be a great photo and then he can also use it for the rehearsal dinner. He got a custom suit from Men's Warehouse and it has a pocket watch pocket. Um, so we got a new like gold chain for it, just on Amazon for now. The pocket watch does not work, so it's just set on three o'clock. But we're gonna have this for detail shots. Then my amazing birth mother sent me two bracelets that I can wear because uh, she can't be there. Um, and they're absolutely stunning. They're like um, gold and they are um, burgundy and it's just like the perfect colors for what I'm wearing. So I'm gonna wear those on my wedding day. And then we have our beautiful ring bearer box, which I've shown you before. It is hand carved in Ukraine and it has our date and our names and then the rings like sit in these little hearts that are inside, which is absolutely stunning. So you have the ring bearer stuff in here. I don't want it to get scratched up, so I'm just keeping it there. And then we have our flower girl basket. This is gonna be the basket, and then our florist is gonna like make it pretty. 
Then we also got this custom color graphed envelope um, and we did the venue address. We didn't have like an invitation suite. So this other gal who was on TikTok also didn't and she decided to do this, which is basically decorative and they put all sorts of stamps and then they hand dip letter it and then they have like a seal, a wax seal on the back. And then we also have some fun dance floor props. We've got like glow sticks, light up, um, like heart glasses, whatever. And then we also have big like light up sticks or whatever. And they're in another box over there. And this one is a frame for one of our things that we're doing in the design. And I told Cassie, our designer, I would bring it. So that's just gonna go on top of everything. And that is my wedding day box. And then we have some other stuff in the rehearsal bin, which I will show you. I'm really just doing the most with all these boxes. Okay, rehearsal dinner box. Um, in order to ship the flowers back, we need some wet paper towel. And we figured why not just add in a whole roll? There's room in the box. We've got our photo like backdrop stand. These are the clips that clip everything together. And then the stand is in its own bag right here. We've got our custom guest book that Lauren purchased for us last year. It's a beautiful burgundy with gold foil lettering. And this is going to be um, at a rehearsal dinner first so that the VIPs can sign it and have a chance to do that first. And then it will get moved to the day of box. Then we have the amazing custom photo booth props, which you guys have already seen with our faces and all of that fun stuff. And then the dowel rods that go with them. Ton of photos of us throughout the years. We're making what we call the bride and groom throughout the years. Speaking of our sign. So this will go on a table and then these will be strewn about so people can browse all of our pictures that are our favorites throughout our childhood. More napkins in case we need extra napkins, but I bought custom napkins uh, that say J and K and have our wedding date in gold foil on these beautiful burgundy napkins, of course. So these will go on the tables um, for their like place setting and stuff like that. Um, I haven't decided if we're gonna like set the place settings or just have a stack of these like on the buffet table, but more to come. It's gonna make it very cute and then extra like bar napkins in case we need them. Then we will have a bartender manning the event. So this is going to be his tip jar, um, their tip jar, I guess. Um, and then we have a little cute tipping sign that reminds people, feeling tipsy, please tip our bartender. So this will be up at the bar. We've got tons of balloons. We're gonna be blowing up some balloons. We have a helium tank over here. And then I also brought the balloon weights so that they don't fly away and also packed the balloon pump in case we want any just floating at the floor with regular air. Bar menu is also framed and it matches the like tip sign thingy. So very cute. For these centerpieces on all the tables, I know I showed you guys, but we made tons of frames of like us throughout the years. So there'll be a different like year will be at everyone's table. I use this white ribbon at my bachelorette party and we're also gonna use it for the balloons. Why not reuse, you know what I'm saying? For the photo backdrop at the rehearsal dinner, um, we're gonna do a dark green color with the streamers. Yeah, it's six total. There's like two per package. Then my sweet mother-in-law, Angela, brought over this um, like easel stand because we do have a welcome sign. The welcome sign is at my parents' house. Just they're keeping it safe um, so that it doesn't get all messed up and they can just pop it in their car. I'm also bringing my Polaroid camera in case anyone wants to take photos in the photo booth. I got some Instax film here. I also got these little fun glasses. I got these on my friend Sumaya's batch trip and I thought they were super cute little photo booth props. And then I also have a stack of pens, which we do need for all the guest book stuff. I have buffet cards for the rehearsal dinner food items here. I'm gonna wait to like fold them until we're there. And then I also ordered a custom hashtag sign banner with our wedding hashtag on it that will go with the photo booth. And then I also picked up these foil stickers. They're silver foil stickers that you can put on balloons. So we'll see like what we think about. You know what I'm saying? We'll see what happens in the moment. Pack some scissors because you can always use those. And then I found this in the dollar section at Target. It was $5 and it's a balloon arch kit. Um, and it comes with all the balloons the like faux like greenery pieces 
It might look janky, but you know, we're gonna have time. So if we end up wanting to, we can experiment, but it's definitely not like the do or die. Is all we are taking to the place for the rehearsal dinner. And then like I said, some things will just naturally transition to the wedding day. So we will know to put all that stuff together. Then we've got our bridal emergency kit. This is for the morning of. Our chafing dishes, like for keeping the food warm, that's the bottom cardboard box. And then this top cardboard box is more of the glow stick things. And then we've got a helium tank, and that's basically it. That is my haul, so to speak, so I hope you liked that. Um, and then we can go over the binders tomorrow once I finalize, but I want to get that going tomorrow just so we can finalize everything as close as possible to the date. I love this little ghost background, by the way. Um, I figured let's chat right now. Let's chat about some of the things that we are doing that is making our wedding just so special and just kind of tell you the nitty gritty. I know I hinted at the tasting of the four elements earlier, um, but I would love to go over them um, with everything that we're doing. So for the rehearsal dinner, I know I've mentioned things before that I'll just share what we're doing. We are having some delicious Mexican catering from Porcano. They are an incredible place in Portland. All of the locals rave about them and they had the most stellar customer service. So we are going to be having Mexican food as an homage to me being half Mexican. And uh, my mom went to Mexico this past year and she picked up Pepel Picado, which is like a strung banner. So we'll have that up as decoration. And then we are making a custom playlist. So it's all of our favorite songs and everything we wanna hear. I also made a slideshow on Canva with like kind of a throwback. It has like, you know, the story of our relationship, things we love to do together, and then sprinkled in professional photos from like our engagement shoots, our past like couple shoots and stuff like that. I thought that was very cute and it will just be looping. And then we are also are doing our photo memory table, as I mentioned. So we'll have like a display of a ton of photos of us. And we also did those little centerpiece um, pieces that I think will be really cute. And then we're doing the photo backdrop with the custom props that I ordered. So I think that's like an extra nice touch that our guests will have fun with. And then the parent gifts as well. For the ceremony, we asked our friend Jenny to officiate. So it's our friend. It's not like a, you know, pastor or anyone um, affiliated with like traditional either religions or um, just like a professional officiant. Uh, we considered it at first, um, but we ended up going with Jenny. We just love her so much. And my parents had someone marry them. And I just think it is definitely the right choice now looking back. And um, we were really able to customize our order of service because of that. So we're actually not having a bridal party. We are absent a bridal party. Um, and we intentionally chose not to do this for many reasons. Um, but, you know, I think it'll make it a little unique too. We will be having during the ceremony free for all seating. So no sides, like groom side and bride side. We have this cute sign that says, um, pick a seat, not a side. You are loved by both the groom and bride. And that's one of my favorite pieces. I pinned that years ago on my Pinterest for my wedding. And I'm so glad Cassie made it a reality. I think that is just so unique and a lot more people are doing that nowadays. Um, we picked some sentimental songs for our aisle. So for the first one, uh, the main processional for like Jared and the flower girl and ring bearer is going to be always Paul McCartney's cover version. Um, and it's just a beautiful song. We both really love Paul McCartney and have bonded over his music, obviously. It's something that we really love. It's like in a, in a style of things that we really love as well. And then for my processional, the bridal processional of my parents, I am walking down to a instrumental cover of Coldplay's Everglow, which if you know that song well, you know it's a death song. Um, so it's kind of sad. That's why we stripped the vocals. We're not having any of the vocals in it, but um, it holds value to me. I mean, Coldplay is definitely one of my favorites, but um, there's an alternate music video to that song um, and it is based on like a story of a figure skater who loses her partner um, in life and on ice and it is widely rumored to be about uh, Gordieva and Grinkoff. They're a Russian figure skating duo that truly changed my life. I know that sounds like really cheesy, um, but when I was lost with no direction when I was like 13 and I was being bullied and I left my schooling 
Um, figure skating was always something my grandmother and I really bonded over and I found Ekaterina Gordieva and I like fell in love with her story and she wrote a book called My Sergei and he tragically passed away from a heart attack when he was actually my age, a little bit younger. And it was genetic um, and there was no way to like really prevent it. Um, they just didn't really have the resources at the time. Alternate music video is eerily similar um, to their story. There's like some artistic similarities between the movie production and the music video. So it's just something that really spoke to me and I like the overall message. So that's why I picked it. We're also going to be doing an original people's acknowledgement. So that is um, another element here that I really wanted to incorporate. I wanted to do a land acknowledgement, but then as my officiant started like digging more into it, we realized that's really not what indigenous people are asking for. They're asking for a more like direct call to action, obviously with like paying reparations and whatnot, um, and really naming like the exact tribes who are on the land and then, um, you know, encouraging donations to a tribal led organization. And so we have chosen a museum that is nearby, run by the people of the lands. And we have a QR code that's going to be on the coffee table during like the lounge cocktail hour. And we are encouraging our guests to donate and pay reparations. So we'll have like a full land acknowledgement, like statement, an original people's acknowledgement. Um, but then we're also going to encourage them to donate. Then we're going to have live performance and reading. Uh, I didn't know what readings were. I didn't know they were a thing in weddings, um, but they are, <laughs> surprise, surprise. So when Jenny said, what readings are you having? I said, what? <laughs> so um, we quickly got a little ensemble together. So we have Christine, my sister-in-law, and his sister-in-law uh, doing a reading of German poems because Jared is part German. And then um, we have Mandy, my friend, doing a song performance. She grew up in the theater and she's a beautiful singer and she's going to sing a Sleeping at Last cover version of The Proclaimers' 500 Miles I'm Gonna Be. And it is a Scottish duo, if you don't know The Proclaimers. Um, and my grandmother was a Scottish immigrant. So it's for all of the Morgans in the house. And I think they're going to love it. There will not be a dry eye. It is a beautiful ballad version um, of like, kind of like a jig song. Um, so I think it's going to be just really heartwarming for everyone there. And of course, the tasting of the four elements is a nod to Jared's African or black heritage. His black grandparents are going to be there. His mom is half black. Um, and so we really wanted to honor it without being insensitive. I think like uh, jumping to the broom would be a little bit too insensitive. He's not a black man. He has white privilege. He's lived his life, you know, being perceived as white or mixed. I thought he was mixed when I first met him. Um, and so he has all of the privileges and like, you know, it just feels a little weird. So we decided to do tasting of the four elements. It is a West African tradition. I'm actually 5% African turns out from my 23 and me, um, from West Africa. So it's kind of cool we have like a shared lineage that's also what his turned out to be um, on 23andMe. So it's really cool. It's basically like you taste th four elements and they are bitter, sweet, sour, and hot, I think. And they're to stand for like the different like trials and celebrations throughout your marriage. And so Jenny will be guiding us through that. So that's what the custom shot glasses are for. And then we're also doing a group vow. In addition to our personalized vows to each other, we really liked this concept. And it basically invites your friends and family to proclaim their responsibility that they have in really supporting you through your marriage. Um, and it's very interactive. I think guests will really like it. And of course, we just picked some significant music. So we made sure like all of the music all of the playlists told a story we were very meticulous we didn't tell our dj just like play anything we have like perfectly curated playlists obviously he'll work some extra stuff in there but we really wanted like tons of historical infusion between our identities so we have like a lot of fun like latin hits latin pop um rap we have black motown history studio 54 queer artists um country like what we grew up listening to but then also like a queer more contemporary take on country um there's so many different hits and we hope our guests like it it's definitely unique to us and i know they won't get every reference um but it's important to us and they're bops so that's all that matters 
Um, and then we are having a live first dance with our amazing friends, um, Olivia, Andy, and their sons are helping us pull off this incredible live first dance music backdrop. Uh, Andy is a guitarist and Olivia sings. They are absolutely breathtaking. And so they are doing a really like simple acoustic version of Elvis's Can't Help Falling in Love, kind of like similar to like Haley Reinhardt, Crazy Rich Asians kind of that like vibe and then they're also doing some lyrics in Spanish as an ode to my Mexican heritage um, and they are also a uh, mixed Panamanian Mexican family um, so it's like really special to me and for me like having Olivia I call her like my sister who isn't like blood related um, and she's like my big sis she gives me a lot of wisdom and I've also been able to like be around her and her family and she's always welcomed me and she's Mexican and so it's like I kind of get a portion of what I lost um, being connected to her just because I am adopted um, and so I thought it was a very tasteful way to pay homage and use an actual Mexican artist to do it and then for our formal dance picks I think it's going to shock a lot of our friends based on what we have picked so I went a little more country um, and did come Monday by Jimmy Buffett it is me and my dad's like one of my, our favorite performance artist, um, which is really unfortunate. He just passed away. So it'll be very bittersweet. Um, and he passed away on Labor Day weekend, which is what is referenced in the song. So it'll be very bittersweet, but we love him. I remember like dancing around my living room, like on top of my dad's feet as a kid, like to these songs. So that's why we picked it, but I think it might be a little different than what my friends might have envisioned. And then Jared's is going to wow the house down. Jared and Angela picked Don't Stop Till You Get Enough by Michael Jackson, and they're gonna turn up. They got their moves and all of that. Um, so even if they, you know, don't perfect it or anything, like they're not trained dancers, it's just, you know, to have fun. I keep telling Jared that because he's a little worried, but his mom has got the rhythm. She's trying to like really encourage him and it's been really cute to see what they're doing together. So I think that will be very surprising to people. And then for our last dances of the night, we are going to have a final group slow dance to Jim Malcolm, a Scottish singer's Auld Lang Syne his like cover of it um, and it's very like traditional so um, my mom requested this version and it's going to be a chance to just like get everyone together for like a final slow moment after like all of the bops and the craziness and then it also kind of signals like the events end and then the DJ is going to clear the dance floor and me and Jared are going to do a final slow dance to Trixie Mattel's cover of Keep on the Sunny Side. Um, if you don't know, Trixie Mattel is a drag queen that we absolutely love, and um, he has a beautiful voice, um, Brian. So I think it'll be a very nice little sentimental song, but like not too sad or like chill. So I think it'll be a perfect ending. And then I was not able to incorporate a flower crown into my first look for the ceremony. So I'm going to be doing a flower crown for my outfit change. I'm gonna change for open dancing and we're gonna have like a second entrance into the open dancing after we are outside and we're taking like our nighttime photos. And my mom had a flower crown for their wedding, so I always knew I wanted to do it. Um, and I just think it's so beautiful. For my bouquet, I will also be wrapping my grandmother, Nanny Ellie's pearls around my bouquet, just so there's like a touch of her in my celebrations. She's the Scottish one. Um, and we were definitely like the closest. For all of my family members, I always connected with her the most. And then for decor, we are doing a memory gallery wall. So instead of like the things you see where couples like reserve tables or chairs, or whatever for their passed on loved ones who can't be there or like just have a photo table we're doing a gallery wall above the lounge couch area and it has like prints lyrics quotes um, some artwork my grandma made um, and things that really remind us of our loved ones um, paired with portraits of them a lot of like black and white and um, you know old wedding photos and stuff like that um, that I think will be super special so we're very very excited about that and then we're also doing a really interesting, unique guest book table concept. So we're doing like memory, like words of wisdom boxes and the boxes say five, 10 and 20 years. And the idea is that guests will pop in a letter of advice for us to read on the anniversary. I really liked that. And so it's kind of like the wedding can keep going and there's something to look forward to. We also have guests from like a wide variety of ages and like durations of marriage. Most of the guests there are married, so I thought it was like a really cool 
inclusive activity. And then obviously we just love our designer, Cassie. She's doing tons of like handcrafted, really unique elements. Like she's wood turning candles, she's carving things, she's, you know, gold, gold foiling things. She's doing tons of stuff with her hands. She's not just, you know, a graphic designer that prints stuff off. She's really in the trenches in her garage. Um, and I think like being able to support like a local Portland artist is really cool. It's like a nice little extra added cherry on top. We will also be doing a sweetheart table during reception so that we can have some time like off on the side just to like soak in the moment. And then one of my favorite things ever is like the keepsake. Um, you don't have to do like a candy bar. You don't have to do something gimmicky. Um, I think that's like very overdone. No tea, no shade. I think like honestly the candy bars from my cousin Isaac's wedding is like one thing I actually remember. Um, just cause like, you know, the whole event is like a blur. Obviously I remember like other things about it but for the table setting i didn't recall any of the decor or the color palette but i remembered the keepsake and i just wanted to take it up a notch so i asked cassie and she had this amazing idea to do custom uh note cards where it's like i'm calling it a love note to the person and jared and i both wrote a unique message to each person and then it's assigned seating and so when they sit down they will get a whole little letter from us and it's on like an emblem um, custom card so they can take it home um, and it's not something that you know goes in the trash the next day or is eaten um, and then forgotten about it's like something that you can go back to so also I guess these are kind of like unique things and also sentimental things one of the unique things is that we're not just doing cake we're doing um, spiced apple cider donuts and then also sweet cinnamon buns so very autumnal within theme um, and I think it gives people a lot more option um, and we love our baker she's actually from Olympia and she's driving um, to deliver it and I know our guests will love it. My parents had the idea to add in another Scotland twist. They have been loving visiting Scotland. My mom got to go there like as a kid growing up, obviously, since her mom was from Scotland and they've been retired for a while now and going back to visit. And they picked up a quach, which is basically known as like a cup of friendship. Um, and it's like a two handled cup and it's kind of like church um, where you like sip it and then you give it to the next person as kind of like an offering of friendship. It's seen a lot in weddings and stuff like that. So we might not sip from it in this COVID era, but um, my parents will be handing it off to Angela, Jared's mom during their parents' speeches. And then we had just like some sprinkled fun extras. So one thing that I really, really like is the something old, new, borrowed and blue. I didn't try to get all of those things, but I have a couple things things like for some of them but the one that actually encompasses most all of them uh, was something I didn't even ask for but my amazing nail tech and friend Tatiana gives you a jewel on the back of your ring finger or like inside your ring finger um, and it is a blue jade Swarovski crystal so it's old and new since it's an authentic jade a stone that has been refined into a jewel it's something borrowed because I was surprised by the gracious gift even though she isn't asking for it back and then something blue since it is a blue jade um, so I thought that was a very sweet um, people floored me I did not expect all of this stuff but um, I love having like all these pieces of like my family and friends and like I mentioned Jared has the pocket watch from his great-grandfather so he'll have that on him as like um, kind of like the pearls with my nanny he'll have the pocket watch and it will be kind of like a piece of the older generations and that's basically it. I've told you about everything else that we're doing, um, but I am so happy. And that's basically how it is. That's all the things we're doing. So we're trying to make it like as unique as custom to us. I am so excited. I think there's just so much to look forward to. I hope our guests love it. Um, we kind of stripped away some of the traditional things that you would see. We're not doing the garter bouquet toss. Um, and we're just, you know, doing things that we love. So maybe this gave you some inspiration. I assume a lot of you watching are like future marriers to be um, or just family who couldn't make it. Um, so I hope this kind of gives you like a foundation for when you start seeing the clips, like what's actually happening in the clips. Because um, that's kind of a lot to deduce from just like short, you know, 30 second reels and stuff like that. So I hope this was interesting. Um, I'm very proud. It took so much like sweat, tears, blood, uh, not literally, thankfully, um, and like sleepless nights to perfect this. And I'm so, so grateful to our crew of friends and family and vendors 
and even if a hiccup happens like what can go wrong with that kind of lineup um i just really hope that our guests love it also i hope you're not annoyed by this vlog i just was like i deserve to make one big bang video and um you know friends and family have been requesting it who were not able to be there um so i really hope someone gets something from this video all right hello friends happy tuesday that's the printer um i think i'm gonna go ahead and finalize our master doc i have not seen any new edits come through i've seen people like pop in and out of the doc too so i think we're good to go this is going to go into the binders we have the binders here we have one for lauren and one for my mom so i'll go over these with you um probably tomorrow once they're done and everything we need to get those printed out and then we also have a couple last invoices and stuff like that to print out so just a couple hours i head to my final alterations appointment i'm feeling so good i'm so excited to try on all three dresses and just to get in that headspace again um luckily i was able to sleep last night i have been having the worst sleeping problems it's just not ideal under any circumstance um but especially this but i chatted with sumai and she was like yeah girl i had the same thing like you're gonna be totally fine the day after the wedding it's just getting through this time okay color is not looking too bad gonna go through and um hole punch like the three hole punch and get all these in the binders um i'll give you a firm binder tour tomorrow so you have all of the info um i'm just gonna touch base with one person today and see if i can finalize that invoice up Wednesday I just got word that one of Jared's family members is in the hospital um so not a fun way to wake up I hope they're okay I hope we get an update soon um but that's the last I have heard um as you saw I had my alterations appointment which went great we picked up all three dresses um and then Jared and I just ran errands all night um, went to JC Penney's, went to Sephora, got a cologne for him, and then went to Target and got a couple last minute items as well. He forgot something at Target, so he has to run back tonight. Um, and then today we get nails done with Tatiana, so we actually leave in like an hour. Um, and then we have our DJ call with DJ Benny tonight, just go over everything in the timeline. And yeah, I'm just hoping we hear back about this family member because that's really scary. Um, so um i figured we could do maybe like a binder recap um i was going to do that anyway um but things kind of got away from me so let's do a little binder recap this is what it looks like um basically this is like our handy dandy partner in crime this is what's going to get us through everything this weekend it has all of the things we're doing all of the people who are doing it and we even used our cute little logo emblem this is our logo emblem so it has our date and then k and j super cute it's gonna be like on the keepsake cards and we're gonna have like a laser etched pleather um, sign like hanging down from our sweetheart table and I think that's gonna be so cute so um lauren's is a little bit different than my mom's so my mom's has like a rehearsal dinner master sheet for like all of the things that we're doing um and then my mom also does not have the content creator shot list which lauren has for her and her sister emily who are going to be tackling all of the content so it's a little different um but pretty much the same just altered so we have the where everything needs to be list so it tells you like these are the things for the rehearsal dinner these are the things for the actual day of um these are the things that you'd be left at the hotel like all these different things um every single day of the weekend so you can just make sure before we leave that we've got everything that needs to go to the venue for example 
Then we've got the loadout list. The loadout list is everything that we need to take home from the venue the night of the wedding, once it's all over. Um, so there's a little checklist and they can actually like check it off as they go if they would like. And then they have the content creator shot list, which is organized by like events, like rehearsal dinner, wedding day of, um, which camera, if it's like an iPhone or if it's my vlog Canon camera, obviously we're not vlogging during the ceremony because, um, or any of it, honestly, because of our videographer. And then the first tab is rehearsal. So we have the rehearsal dinner layout with the chairs and everything we've got going on here. We've got the contract for the room block and the event space with the Jupiter Hotel where we're staying. And then we also have the paid invoice. Okay. Then we have the certificate of liability insurance. You have to get special event insurance, especially when you're serving alcohol um, for both the big day and the rehearsal dinner. So we got a joint uh, insurance policy, probably a couple hundred dollars. So I put all of the info for that. Then we have the receipt and the contract for the delivery catering for the rehearsal dinner. We also have the receipt and contract for the florist who's doing the rehearsal dinner. The next tab is vendors. Uh, and we have all of their numbers right here. So our whole list of vendors. And then we also have the list of their responsibilities. So everything they uh, signed up to do, when they should be loading in, what their tasks are. Then we have the contract for Union Pine, our venue, and the uh, last remaining invoice, which will be paid during the rehearsal. Again, the copy of the special event insurance with all of the like policy rules and specifics. Then we have the paid invoice um, and list of everything we're getting from the charcuterie company. We have charcuterie coming in the morning. So everything with like delivery times and all of that. Then we have the contract for our designer, Ashwood Design Co and the finalized invoice that's itemized um, by item that she's doing and then a list of like what we can take home from her list and then we also have our Arden Event Collective it's, a re it's the rental company we have their invoice um, Cassie's handling all of that but just so we know like what we should be getting and then we also have the um, uh, contract for service with our caterer and it has like their timeline when they're arriving, the policies, as well as the finalized menu and the receipt of payment. Itemized proposal and paid contract from our dessert baker, the amazing Amber over here in Olympia. And it just has her contract terms, the payment confirmation, and basically it repeats for every vendor. So we've got some town DJs with Benny and then his paid invoices. We've got Cast and Forge Photography, Sydney, and her paid invoice. Ochoa Wedding Films, Nathan. We've got his whole thing. His is a hefty contract. He is smart. And then we've got the Lux Artistry Group with Stephanie, and I've also got the invoice for the trial that I already paid, and then she is going to invoice me for the rest. Then we've also got the whole contract for our florist, Twin Vines Floral, Jamie. And we've got her paid invoice. And that's it. The next tab is logistics. And then this has all of the bridal cruise responsibilities. So like what Lauren is tasked with, my friends who are setting up and doing tasks. Um, it has everyone in here. Then we go into the timeline. So I did an overview timeline that's just like the event timeline. Then I did a catering timeline specifically for them. Then we have the DJ timeline specifically for him. And then the photographer videographer timeline specifically for them. Then we have the ceremony order of service, like in detail, uh, what's happening at each point in time. And then we have the live performance and reading details. There's a copy of Christine's poems just in case she needs it. Um, and then the specifics of like Mandy's sound check and like all of that. We also put in the first dance with the Salazar Bro family. Um, and then the next thing, <laughs> next tab and final tab is design, uh, which just shows the design plan to be executed by Cassie. And it has pictures of every single design. We have our overall floor plan layout and then every single piece of design with like specs, like the inch dimensions and um, you know, if it's on like a wooden sign um, board and all of that. And then the pictures of the florals I put in here so we could just know, you know, what we're getting. So lots of these. 
seating chart because we did assign seating. We have like all the table numbers and then I also did a custom key for the vendor so they can see like who is a custom meal. Um, so there's like little uh, colored asterisks. So um, red is a custom meal, uh, purple is a kid's meal, and green is a vendor meal. We have seated two of our vendors just because they're like friends to us. So um, they can see what's going on, but they have like the firm head count for everything. So that is my binder. I think it'll be like super helpful. You gotta be like really careful with it because um, as you can tell, it just came apart. Like it's very small and to fit like this much into a small um, ring is not ideal. I probably would have gone larger, but I think it would take this much paper. I really didn't foresee that. So as you can tell, it's pretty crammed. I probably would have gotten a larger three ring, but I like how this looks. Like it's very sleek um, and it's not like bulky. So it worked out, but just like a word of the wise, maybe worry about that. Um, but I just made this little thing in Canva, printed it out, very simple. Um, and I think they're going to like it. It's going to keep them on task. And I think it's just going to work out so good. So that's my binder. Um, I'm going to probably make a little something to eat. I have to leave here about half an hour. I just wanted your reaction to send it to you. Oh my God, that's so cute. Are you kidding? No. Oh my God. Oh my God, I would have eaten if I had known. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you so excited? Yes, I am. You. Really? Yes. Oh my god, stop. Don't make me cry. No, no, Don't we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Okay. Oh my god, queen. What is the coffee? Your pumpkin spice with oat milk. Stop. But I did keep the milk. That's fine. <laughs> we need it today, you know? Yeah. A little Just celebration. A little Tatiana's these are the final nails so I love them we did a bit more like uh, abstract so they're not all like straight down the middle that was like the one thing I mentioned that like I wanted to edit and I'm obsessed with them and then for my white toes we actually did more of like an iridescent kind of sparkly white um, just a little extra touch but my mom had so much fun she chose like a kind of clear like sparkly coat and like in the light when you move the fingers it kind of looks like purple um so that's very pretty um my cousin rachel texted me her wedding nails too and they're pretty green they're gonna be so nice um and yeah Tatiana was so sweet. I was so floored. She literally freaking got me all those goodies and a pumpkin spice latte as you saw And then she also got stuff for me and my mom to have a little lunch bite and she got us crackers and hummus and veggies And it was just so adorable. Oh and a blood orange like sparkly drink She was just so sweet um, So oh and she got me a bouquet. I could keep those flowers that were on the table as well. So I was just so floored. She's so kind. Um, we also did the jewel I was telling you guys about earlier. So this is the jewel. Oh, there it is. The little blue speck is the jewel. Uh, it's so pretty. Um, so tonight we have our last call with DJ Benny in a couple hours here. Um, and I think we're just going to keep it easy and chill for dinner. The entire town is flooding. Um, it is torrentially downpouring. I was like concerned for my car. Like the water was super high on the road. Um, so we're not going to run any more errands tonight. Jared realized he forgot something at Target yesterday, but we're just going to tackle that tomorrow during the day. And um, tomorrow is like the day before we leave. So we have to pack everything. Kayla will come over and we will pack up her truck with some stuff. And we're just going to pack stuff. It should be just a fun time getting everything done. Um, and just tidying up loose ends. So this is Jared's last day of work. He took off Thursday through Monday. Um, so yeah, 
We'll be able to pick up his groom's wear stuff, all his men's wear, my dad's suit, and I'll show you guys them trying those on. Uh, they're gonna look super handsome, and I'm super excited. I have not received an update on the family member who is in the hospital, um, and so I need to get info. I think Jared's on like a family group chat, so I need to get info, um, but it sounds like they're stable right now, like I'm not really quite sure. So it's just like a lot of mixed emotions. Like I'm so happy and excited about the wedding. And then I'm like so freaking concerned about like their family and this person. So it's like really weird. And I feel like I shouldn't be happy right now. Like it's like a weird situation. So hopefully we'll get some info on that tonight. Um, and Jared should be home soon. He's just like wrapping things up. They had like an all staff retreat. So he ended a little early today. Um, and they asked him for his registry in front of everyone. I like felt so uncomfortable about that. Um, but that's so sweet that like our clients and coworkers want to do stuff for us. Um, so he's just shooting off that email, getting some things done at the office. In a few hours we'll call DJ Benny. And I think we're doing like a deep dive, like going through every element of the timeline and just making sure like everything is perfect. And um, that is basically it. Um, not much to report other than I'm having fun and I'm trying to remain calm and hope that everything goes off without a hitch, but I think it will be what it is and we'll do our best. Thursday. Today is the final day that we are here. We are picking up Jared and my dad's menswear this morning. Um, we did get some news about the family member who's in the hospital. Okay so far, um, but unfortunately I think they're gonna have to like miss the wedding. Um, and I've had like a friend whose like sister has cancer. She can't make the wedding. There's like a lot of like really tragic things occurring and it's just like a lot so i'm trying to like stay happy because i know like they would want me to stay happy and like really enjoy the weekend but it's just like a really bizarre feeling to like be navigating all of that um but we're gonna proceed with the wedding as planned as long as we can uh may have to make some substitutions but i really hope not and um you know just gonna take it day by day so today we pack up finished packing we've got some laundry so we can get our bags packed that's my bag right there and um i took a body shower i shaved um just got a pack i've got to pick up some things at my parents house we're gonna go over there and grab their car because they have more like an suv style like four-wheel drive um so we're gonna go over there grab the car and then kayla's gonna meet us here this evening and we're gonna load up everything and I think we're gonna go to the hospital and visit the family member real quick. So um, it's gonna be a very busy day, um, but I hope you guys loved coming along for this. I might not vlog a ton today and it's going to be the end of the vlog, um, but I'll update you here and there. Obviously I'll take you along for the menswear, um, but I hope it came in handy for someone and I hope the friends who couldn't make it liked it. Um, Tons of content will be coming at you. We have like the wedding weekend vlog um, where you can see the dress and you can see everything. Um, and then uh, just stay tuned. Our videographer will be giving us some like highlight films and stuff. And um, if you're like a, a close friend or like family friend, whatever, who couldn't come, um, let me know. I'm definitely gonna send you a link to like the unedited raw footage whenever that comes later, just so you can see it as well. Probably won't post that, um, but stay tuned for the little highlight stuff. I'm sure my friends will be taking like a ton of photos on their like Instagrams, like posting them there. 
So the hashtag is hashtag heart of Hudson's plural. Um, so if you want to see like the first exclusive look, um, I'm sure people will be posting there as well. so cute in their suits um, I have my suitcase and we are packing this is Kayla's collection here on the ground um, that she is going to take in her car I hope hope they have enough room um, and then we've also got my gifts are staying collaged here uh, camouflaged collaged am I okay camouflaged and then this is all we are taking should not be too bad and then um, I've got to just pack my cosmetic bag tomorrow. By the way, this is the Makeup Forever HD Skin. It's the new concealer. They don't do the squeeze tube anymore. Um, they don't do that one anymore. They like fully revamped it. So, I will be bringing that. I might just set this stuff out because I've had bad experiences before where... I don't set things out and then I forget like, a key component. This is my perfume. So we're taking that and then also this little travel size. So we have that readily available. So I've got my makeup collection out here and then we will do toiletries later. Jared is ready to vacuum. I'm ready. He said let's do a little vacuum before we leave so it's all nice when we come back. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the ground too. Yeah, there's some some dust on the ground and stuff. So quick he's gonna handle that really quickly and we're just gonna hang out until Kayla comes and then we'll pack her car and we'll be ready to hit the road I think we're gonna practice our dances like one more time tonight and all right friends I'm gonna close out the vlog because we don't have anything else to show you um, I hope you enjoyed like I said um, it was a successful day Kayla's car is loaded up and we're hitting the road at 8 a.m. tomorrow bright and early we've got stuff to do and people to see so yeah I'm so excited Jared's over there like um, we are just so excited so thanks to every friend and family member and vendor who helped us pull this off I cannot wait to see you guys on this vlog channel, in just like a matter of a few days, I will upload the entire wedding weekend vlog, so you have something to look forward to. I will see you guys probably Tuesday, if not Wednesday, uh, with a new vlog. Catch you later. Bye.